an incandescent bulb illuminating our room, the fiery sun baking the earth, a wildfire swallowing up forests full of trees. The earth is being heated in different ways. For 10,000 years, the average global temperature has not changed by more than one degree. But since the Industrial Revolution, global temperatures have risen by about one degree. The signs of environmental degradation are already visible. If we take no action, by 2100, global average temperatures are predicted to rise by three degrees. So, 178 countries and regions worldwide have signed the Paris Climate Accords. They only have one common goal, carbon neutrality. What is carbon neutrality? Humans keep burning fossil fuels, thereby increasing the volume of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, triggering global warming. To stop global warming, the levels of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere must stop rising. Global warming is mainly caused by human activities. Some behaviors we take for granted can make carbon emissions worse. For example, using air conditioners in hot weather. The carbon emissions of the refrigeration industry account for a large proportion of the total emissions in the world, and the new green technology or liquid solid phase transition may enable refrigeration to achieve zero carbon emissions in the near future. Besides, utilizing renewable energy is another route of solving carbon emissions. For example, the utilization of solar energy, which we think is free and inexhaustible, is far more complicated than expected. The challenges posed by solar energy include, first, uncertainty in its generation and the strain it causes on the power grid. Second, a lack of cost-effective energy storage when it's needed most, such as nighttime or the winter months. Third, the dark curve, which pertains to the increasingly large mismatch between peak solar generation and peak energy demand. All three problems can be effectively mitigated by performing forecasting on a variety of timescales, ranging from a few seconds to a few weeks. As this technology advances, we believe the power grid can accept more energy from solar. As we gain access to more clean energy, the next pressing issue is how to efficiently store this energy. Energy storage is a key technology for the wide application of renewable energies and achieving carbon neutrality. The one need flow battery technology can realize the conversion between the electrical and the chemical energy through the redox reaction of one need ions. This technology is very well suitable for the large scale energy storage because of its high safety, efficiency, and long cycle life. Furthermore, it boasts environmental friendliness and good cost performance for the used electrolytes are recyclable. Therefore, it may enable the electric power industry to achieve zero carbon emissions in the future by promoting the wide deployment of renewable energies and providing the peak and the frequency regulation for the power system. In the future, more clean energy can be efficiently stored through advanced energy storage technology with the power grid transmitting the electricity generated by these energy sources to thousands of households to meet our daily electricity needs. As well as reducing existing emissions, we also need to remove current emissions from our atmosphere. Current methods include planting forests and transforming the soil to make it capable of storing more carbon. A more ambitious goal is to achieve net zero emissions through new technologies. Carbon negative technologies, particularly through to capture, utilization, and storage, is an important part in the toolbox to achieve carbon neutrality. There are several large-scale facilities in operation already, and new ideas and applications are emerging very fast to lower the cost. In fact, carbon dioxide is not the only greenhouse gas we need to reduce. Methane is currently the second most important greenhouse gas affecting global warming after carbon dioxide. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, trapping 28 times more heat as carbon dioxide. Since the Industrial Revolution, methane has increased 150% and is responsible for 20% of climate change. In China, energy, agriculture, and waste contribute 45, 40, and 12% respectively. To total emissions. Coal is chief amongst energy related emissions, with livestock and rice cultivation contributing greatly in the agricultural sector. Landfills and wastewater treatment also has an impact. 
To reduce these emissions, we can first reduce reliance on coal, oil, and gas. Instead, focusing on solar and wind energy. Second, develop new low emission technologies in agricultural sector. Third, find and control leakages and emission hotspots through mass monitoring. In order to reduce carbon more efficiently, scientists have also found some small helpers from nature, such as nanochloropsis. Nanochloropsis, a commonly found unicellular microalga living in seawater and freshwater across the world, can be genetically engineered to increase the efficiency of carbon dioxide use, converting carbon dioxide into biomass and oils for various applications. As research and application progress, marine nanocorpses will be transformed into mini plants for carbon sequestration and emission reduction in the future. It will not only contribute to carbon neutrality, but also provide a new way to solve energy problems. Goal of zero carbon emissions is set for the future of our planet. Everyone can play their part to make a difference. Drive less, cycle more. Living a green lifestyle is about truly embracing sustainability and making real differences for our planet and its people. Let's make our planet a better place to live.